Good morning, church family. I've arrived safely in Argentina, and this morning, as you're watching this, I'll just be getting my day started, as Argentina is five hours behind Norway. This morning, I'll be preaching at a church, and then in the afternoon, participating in MICN's Global Vision Board meetings, and then preaching at another church this evening. Tomorrow on Monday morning, I'll be having an all-hands meeting with all of MICN's volunteers and staff who are present, and then in the afternoon, having a meeting with our strategic leadership team, which is sort of a, an executive team for MICN. And then in the evening, we'll be having our opening session for this year's Global Gathering, along with a dinner that is gonna include music and, and cultural dancing. It'll be a lot of fun for their participants uh, as they come together and get to, to eat a meal together and meet each other and prepare for what God's going to do this week. Now, you may be wondering, but what is the point of this? What, what is the value in this ministry of David flying around the world to hold these conferences? And I can give you a couple of reasons. For example, MICN's goal is to start and strengthen international churches. Now, for us to do that, the main way we can engage with these churches is through leaders, pastors, elders, ministry leaders. Often they have no one else to turn to, so we're there to mourn with them when they need to mourn, to rejoice with them, to encourage them, to challenge them, to give them ongoing training, because we believe as goes the leader, so goes the church. So our goal is to actually then, through those leaders, strengthen these churches because we want them to have healthy international churches that are making disciples from all nations to all nations. Now, you understand that side of it. That's what you guys live and breathe, what we live and breathe at North Sea. But how is it actually bringing value to those pastors and those leaders who are coming? With over 100 people here, what is it that they get out of this time? And I think the best way to kind of highlight that is to ask Phil to come up. Because Phil used to pastor an international church in India, and they were not part of MICN at the time, but he found us later and connected us with, connected MICN with DICF, Delhi International Christian Fellowship. And from that, the leaders of that church have participated in MICN's last two global gatherings, the one in Bangkok two years ago and the one in Turkey last year as it moves around the world. And so Phil has heard firsthand the impact that the global gathering has had on the leaders of his former international church. So Phil, if you would come up and just share a bit with the church of why you believe this is a, a valuable ministry, the impact that you've seen it have. And also if you would pray, pray please for the leaders who are coming. It can be hard for them to turn off all the things back home, the messages they'll get, but for them to be able to focus on, on their own spiritual health and well-being and being ministered to. And secondly, to pray for those who are running the Global Gathering, for the, for the team that we have, putting this together, and that just the whole thing would go, um, go flawlessly, the technology work, all that. And, and thirdly, I really appreciate yours and, and the whole church family's prayers for me as I shoulder a burden of leadership here this week. Thank you guys so much. God bless you and have a wonderful Sunday.